this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, or rather, Cute Fuzzy Weasel's hands. Yes, welcome to another episode of Cute Fuzzy Weasel Draws, or Weasel Draws, or whatever. It's been a long time since I've done one of these things, and today we're actually doing one of the people on my Patreon. This is Michael... Uh, I have to reverse it because I remember I'm turning the thing over. Michael Shore. Or like this. Oh, no, if I reverse the... Jesus Christ. And he wants me to do this picture, which is his profile uh, picture on Patreon. Uh, I am not familiar with the source material from which this came from. I don't know who this is or where this is or anything. Uh, looks like some kind of anime, and I couldn't find a higher resolution version of it, so I just had to copy his, uh, profile picture and just expand it out onto this piece of paper and wreck my printer in the process. So, we're gonna be going off of that. Right. Okay. So, let's get started. Now, you should know that I am not... Uh, an expert. I'm not a professional at doing this. The whole point of this series originally was practice. And while I will say that I'm nowhere near the level of anyone you would, you know, want to say, uh, uh, commission. That's the fucking word. I gotta do this kind of fast, because in order to film anything out here, I have to shut off, like, all of the things that keep me from dying of uh, heat exhaustion in this apartment. So, right now, I'm already sitting here, and it's... In fact, we could do that. I could... I'll put this over here in the corner. This is a thermometer. It's reading 80 degrees. Hooray for summers near the coast, right? Uh, anyway, so let's take a look at this. Now, it kind of looks like the character's um, doing that head-down thing that you see a lot of with dramatic poses where they're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look all serious with my head down, but I'm gonna be standing, but I'm like looking at you so the shadows hit me right. But the, uh, the neck's not making that indication... So I can only imagine that this character has a couple of extra vertebrae. Um, don't worry, we won't be drawing an x-ray of this guy. So we're getting the... Uh, um, actually, that's not right, because the whole head is, is much wider than that. This is why you always want to start off with rough lines. Unless you're just a master, and you can... You can just do it from memory. Now we're going to make a circle. I don't know if you can even see that. Draw that. The chin is kind of low. Like this. The chin is kind of here. And the eyes roughly in the middle of the head. Um, let's see... Rough eye shapes here, here, uh, right around here. It doesn't look right when you draw a face. If the eyes are shorter, or are, if they're if the space separating the eyes is closer to or greater than the width of one of the eyes, and just get it in the ballpark here. There we go. So, eyes are right here. Now, because of the resolution of the image that I got, I can't really see a mouth anywhere. Um, going to assume that the mouth is going to be right around here. And I'm going to assume that there's a nose. Of course, it's anime, so there might not be a nose. Okay. And then there's the hat, which is kind of low, covering up an eye. The 
that's going to be here. And it looks like some kind of, I don't know, fedora, something. Fedoras don't look right on people unless they're kind of lanky and wearing a trench coat. I've come to realize that after seeing a couple of people that look like me wearing them, fellas, it don't look right on us. Fellow, fellow out of shape, fat people of the world, fedoras don't look good on you. Trust me, take it from a fellow out of shape kind of fat person. Fedoras don't look good on you. You know, an interesting thing that's going on with the picture is there's some hair covering the eye, but it's not really covering the eye. The eye is popped out of its socket, pushed its way through the hair. It is now kind of free-floating above the hair, which means the optic nerve is sticking out of the head. But we're not going <laughs> to... We're not going to do quite that. So, um... What can we talk about? I guess we can talk about the state of the channel. I'm still trying to push out as many videos as possible. Um, I'm kind of laxing a little bit on it because a, uh, I'm still kind of unpacking. See, I moved to the apartment in shifts. And uh, well, there's not really a whole lot of room inside of focus. So every weekend I'm having to go down there, or almost every weekend. I managed to get away with not going down to the other place and picking up more stuff and then driving down here. See, between, the, uh, between where I have my stuff and here is about 250 miles or 150 miles. So it takes about an hour... No, it takes two and a half hours to get there. Two and a half hours back. And I was making that drive every weekend. And that's becoming kind of untenable. You know, kind of like this image is becoming kind of horrible. Gonna... All right, so we've got some basic guidelines here. Now we're going to go down to the lower body. Well, the, the shoulders, anyway. Do that. It was, do, it was this video, the video that I'm going to do where I cut my hair, which, oh, I'm looking forward to that, or commercial riffs. But the random dice roller said... No, do a weasel draws. I'm like, all right, I will. I will obey you, voice in my head. I will do thy bidding. I will do a weasel draws according to the will of the randomness of the universe and the internet. On, or one website in particular on the internet with a random dice roller. Has Google taken over that now? Because I know they, 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 they took over stopwatches. So there's a Google stopwatch now. Is there a Google random die roller? Is there one? So now I gotta look for that. Now I gotta go try to find that. I hope you're happy. You made me think that I gotta go do that. Alright, I can hear my neighbor's television. They're watching some kind of weird nature documentary. That or porn, I don't know. Those two. Oh, all the things you hear. All the one. Of course, I'm probably a weird ass neighbor to the person who's um, on the floor below me. Because I usually film feeding the trolls kind of late at night or early in the morning. So early in the morning, this person's probably getting up, trying to go to work, and they and she, he or she, I think it's a she, I think it's an old woman, hears me like yelling and screaming. 
He's like, oh my god. Is is he beating up somebody in there? Is he having an argument with someone on the phone? No, it's just me screaming at a camera at someone who I've never met who doesn't know I exist. So as you can see, we're getting rid of some of the guidelines and we're uh, improving what's there. Trying to get it as clean as possible. And I'll go over and ink this after I'm, well, by ink I mean go over with a pen. I like there's something underneath here. Now, like I've said before in some of these videos, which I know you've not seen, the key to doing this, or one of the keys to doing this, is to make sure that your construction lines and your rough lines and even some of your more, you know, your guiding lines are not really thick. You don't want to have them... You don't want to you don't want to put them on so thick that you can't erase them. Cuz that's one of the things you do when you draw, you erase a lot of stuff. You do a lot of erasing. Same thing I do at night. Every night I sit down or I lay down and I say, "Okay, I'm going to erase the previous day from my mind. Just pretend it never happened and that I'm okay and that everything's okay." And I will erase it from my mind. And it doesn't work. So I wake up every morning wanting to kill... What am I talking about? This is what happens when you don't have a whole lot of coffee in your system. Yes, coffee. The socially acceptable addiction. Not like that booze. Yeah, you're addicted to coffee. People laugh and go, Ha ah, yeah... I know that. I'm not myself if I don't get up in the morning and drink my drugs. Say you're addicted to drinking, people look at you all weird. I'm like, what? How can you be addicted to drinking? That's not a socially acceptable drug. Caffeine is a socially acceptable drug. That's kind of a false dichotomy, though. There's, there's a lot of very big difference, differences between caffeine and alcohol one being caffeine doesn't make you get into a car and, and like run over people the other being caffeine doesn't mess around with your judgment unless you have a lot there have been times especially when i was in high school i would drink a lot of caffeine i'd have like two or three monsters a day and I remember, if you ever seen Futurama, there's an episode where Fry drinks like a um, hundred cups of coffee, and and when he hits that hundred, time slows down for him. That was kind of my experience back then. I'd get to uh, energy drink number three or four, and time would slow down. And I drank it specifically for that reason. And then I developed heart palpitations and had to stop. They went away. They went away. Just they went away. I just don't. I don't drink that much anymore. Actually, I can't even stand energy drinks. I, I don't. I don't know what the hell got into me back then with me fucking drinking all that garbage. I mean, that's really what they are. They're fucking garbage. People like to say they're a new thing, too. Not true. Back in the 90s, we had Surge. Actually, today you have Surge. Uh, nowadays, you've got Surge. And they, they brought it back because people mistakenly thought that uh, Surge tasted good. It doesn't. Like any energy drink, Surge tastes like cough medicine. Cough medicine. The original energy drink. Mm, I feel like I, I need to add, like, I feel like the hair's too straight. Like I need to add some kind of flare out here. Yeah, there we go. 
Ah, what else can I ramble at you um, while I while I draw this horrible, horrible image? Um, let's see. What recently happened to me? Oh, I got the cat here. Took him a while to get used to that. That's it. That's it. I might, I might end up doing a video um, where I go crab, uh, go crab fishing. Because I've got a friend who lives on the coast who's got a uh, beach house that I um, have access to. And I might um, record it. The thing about crab fishing, especially down where he's, where he's at, is that there's a lot of water between the ocean and the pier. And between the ocean and the pier and all that water, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of crab traps. So I got to be able to catch the crab that's smart enough to avoid a hundred crab traps and get that crab to fall for the stuff I've got. So I've been doing experiments on making crab crack. I take regular crack and I mix it with the uh, chicken blood. I figure that's got to attract some crabs, you know? Crabs are... I'm going to bring up the trap and there's going to be some crazy guy with a snorkel. <laughs> uh, that would be... That, that's a fun skit. One of the show ideas that I toyed around with for this channel uh, way back in 2013 was doing a skit show. Me and my... I'd, I'd come up with scripts and me and my friends would, like, make them. And little skits. Thing is, I live so far away from everybody and everybody was so busy. Family and other meaningless things like that. <laughs> Family. What's this family stuff? I don't need family stuff. I've got a cat that can stare at me like I'm a dead person. Actually, the cat stares at me like it's a cat. All cats, unless, unless you really know them, anytime a cat looks at you, you might as well, it might as well be looking at, at a, at a, you know, a dead mouse or a pile of dirt or any, yep, it's 82 degrees, or a pile of dirt or anything. They don't really have much in the way of outward personality, unless you've got a rare one, like, um, I forget that. There was, there was one cat that had, like, a weird jaw, and, um, I forget what, what the hell was wrong with it? Like, its jaw was loose, and it always looked like it was smiling. It was the inverse grumpy cat. Yeah. So as you can see, I, I took that um, base shape that I made that was just kind of a, a triangle, and I've uh, divided it out. I've, I've, added the I've added more detail to it. I'm probably not getting the proportions right with this. Like, definitely, like, with the face, I'm probably not getting proportions right with the face. You know, maybe I'll color this. I hadn't thought of that, but I might color this. Not in this video, though. That'll, that'll be a separate thing that I do before I deliver this, deliver this to that guy. Yes, if you're a Patreon... A uh, supporter of mine, you, uh, if you choose, uh, if I choose you at random to uh, do one of these uh, sketches for, you, um, I, I send it to you. So yeah, you'll, uh, Mitchell, you'll, Michael Mitchell, you'll be getting this in the mail in the next three to four years. Probably not before this video comes out, though. Um, mostly because I'm going to release this video today, right after I'm done. How long have I been going on for? Oh my god, I've been 
whinging for 20 minutes. 29 minutes. Boy, I gotta love that new internet. Because, man, I would not be able to get away with this back, back when I had satellite. There's some kind of shape here. I'm going to assume that that is a scar. I'm going to assume that there's some kind of makeup thing going on here. Uh, and, and not that this is a, uh, a scar here and a weird mouth mushed up into the corner <laughs> with like three teeth. <laughs> a weird, like a weird crack mouth, just like... <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's some kind of scar. Of course, I could do that. I could draw some kind of weird messed up mouth right here. <laughs> huh. Huh. Nah, he probably doesn't want me to do that. If this was a regular Weasel Draws, and I was just using this as an example, then yeah, I'd draw some kind of weird messed up mouth like right there. But this looks like some kind of anime character, I guess. I'm not really familiar with it. I mean, I, I kind of got into it a little bit. And I'm glad I did. I, I, I sort of fell into the camp of dismissing a lot of anime out of hand because the, an, you know, the style of animation was just not very appealing to me. Um, but as time has gone on, and I've I've gotten some of the, the stories are pretty nice, you know. There, there, there's some well written stuff, and I appreciate that. If the anime if the animation on a show is terrible, but the story is good, I'll give it more credence over a show where the the animation is really well done, but the story is kind of shit. Although typically the two go hand in hand. Typically, if you've got good animation, you've got a, a, a good story. Unless you're uh, the people who made the minions. They don't have anything. They're dead inside. <sighs> but that does, that does kind of raise the question, like, what the fuck is this? Is that a... I... What is that? You know, I, I think that is a mouth. No, because this is... There's, um... I can't tell if this is a barbed wire choker or if it's like Frankenstein stitches. <laughs> God. So he's got a little weird crack mouth and barbed wire around his neck. What the fuck? Uh... I'm gonna say that's some kind of scuff. Some kind of scar. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, do this. There we go. Yeah. And then there's this thing. Now, nose and mouth, which is something I, I just I can't see in this picture. Hmm. 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 Well, if it's an anime, then usually they just do like a little nose triangle here. Of course, now it looks like a goat, but all right. And, uh gonna say a little there we go yeah that works now if this was my particular style i'd do this yeah yeah there we go that looks good to a fifth grader i just bad at what i do I really should stop knocking myself down here on this, though. Because while I would say that I'm not even student level at this, I know people who are way, way worse, and freely admit so. Let's 
let's see kind of guidelines it looks like barbed wire it could be a barbed wire tattoo could be that yeah could be that there yeah. ah. definitely want some kind of neck indication I'm not real thrilled about the head position because he's obviously looking down but the way the neck is it's it's yeah i think the neck is a little too not symmetrical put this here there we go there we go Now, the collar thing that he's got uh, kind of goes down and around. And... Man, what the fuck are they listening to? I don't know if my mic can hear it, but I, I hear like... I don't know, I hear some weird... Like... I have no idea. Do I want to know? Well, if I get bored enough, yeah, I'm going to want to know what the hell they're listening to. It couldn't... You know, it might be pretty easy to figure that out, too. I mean, all I would need is some kind of good microphone. Which I honestly probably have. And then all I need to do is find an area where the walls between the apartments are thinnest. And just stick it there. Or cut a hole in the wall <laughs> and stick the mic through there and just set everything so it's as sensitive as it possibly can be. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just explaining how I would do that. I'm not going to do that, though. That, that'd be creepy. I'm not a... That, that, that'd be creepy. Don't spy on your neighbors, kids. Don't. Don't spy on your neighbors like that. They're 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 gen generally speaking, they're I'm not gonna say good people, but generally speaking, your neighbors are okay people. They're not me. Luckily, you're not my neighbor, and you don't have to worry about whether or not I've drilled holes in my wall and stuck microphones in there to listen. Although that is completely within my abilities. I don't know. I guess I've never thought about it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. That'd be so weird. But then again, I could very easily do that. Uh yeah, these guidelines are a little thicker than they need to be. So that's that's what the whole video is. Sporadic talking and then long, drawn-out moments of no talking. And just think about how, more, how, how much weirder it is for me to do that. Because for me, this is a one-sided conversation with nobody. Nobody else is in this room. I mean, I guess I could look down here at my feet, because Tyler is down there looking at me like I'm a crazy person. He woke me up again. This time it was 4 o'clock in the morning, which is usually when I get up, so he was merciful. Good, merciful Tylor. The angel of feline mercy. Not waking me up at 3 a.m. Fucking dick. Um, this doesn't give any indication of an undershirt, but there is a red colorization here, so I'm going to assume that he is wearing something underneath the shirt. Oh! 
Well, maybe it's not so bad. I mean, it's basically a free commission. Well, not free. He does support me on Patreon, so this is not free. But, you know, it's... Kind of free? It's sort of free? It's okay? It's kind of sort of maybe free? Uh, there we go. All right. I think that's a good base here. You know, good basic lines. Of course, I've drawn the neck way too long, unfortunately. But that's okay. I should be able to salvage that maybe by adding shadow or when I go into ink it I can add some shadow to it give it some depth here but hey you know I'm working off of this image which is not easy to do You have no skill and you think you can be an art channel. Yeah, because it looks like the light's coming down from this angle. Now there's piano music playing. What the fuck? I hear and then piano bing 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 bing. I don't normally hear anything that they do because I'm always in my office, which is all the way over there, and I've got headphones on because I'm trying to listen to stuff. But God, now that I'm here, I actually don't know what my neighbors do. You know, I I never see them go to work. They just kind of stay in that apartment all day. Even I try to make some time to get out, even if it is but for a brief moment in the sun before I return back to my cave of solitude and death, where I toil away in front of a friggin' machine that has become the whole meaning behind my life's existence at the moment. But those two, those are the weird people! <laughs> Those are the weird people right there. Very basic, basic, basic shading. Incompetent. In a basic on an incompetent level. Yeah. That's me. I should do some voice acting. I should try and find some voice acting. Hmm. All right. I think I'm good now. Um, still not quite there, but good enough for the segment where I talk a bunch. So this is what I've got. I will continue on and record all that for you to see at, as, uh, as part of the end credits here. Um, that's sped up. Uh, if you have anything you want me to draw, you know, suggest it down in the uh, comments below and I'll uh, give it some consideration. And if you want me to draw you something um, and you are okay with me picking your name out at random from a list, be a Patreon supporter by going to my Patreon and supporting me. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 that's, that's all I say. That's, that's what, that's my primary, that's everything that I've said in this whole video. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, pausing to think, because it is, oh yeah, that's another thing. It's, it is like six in the morning. It's six in the morning and they're listening to a weird video. Ugh. And as always, 
Have a good day.